at, uh, at 53, uh, I, I tell you, I, I feel like, like I'm just the old man because we got some, some youth coming up here. But I, I do want to say that I was very, very proud last night to receive the endorsement of the college Republicans. Talking about leadership, that I, I was very honored to receive that. I want to tell you guys something. I remember, I remember walking in through these doors 10 years ago. I remember just being a young county chairman, bright-eyed, and when I walked in and I saw all these folks, I remember the power, the power that was in this room, the power that you all possess. And that's what got my start. I've been told a lot throughout my life about, Rick, you can't do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, I took over a party that was in financial disarray. It was a blue county. It was known as Bruce King County. Well, they said, Rick, you can't, you can't flip that county. Rick, you can't make a difference. And I said, you know what, folks? I can't afford not to. I'm happy to announce that Torrance County in 2010 was not only a red county, but every person on that ballot won 100% Republican in 2010. Woo! In 2014, we had a little unfinished business because we had one county chairman who was Democrat and didn't run in 2010, but he came up in 2012. Well, folks, I'm happy to say the business is finished there because now every elected official in Torrance County is Republican. So don't tell me I can't. Don't tell me I can't come out here and run for second vice chair and make a difference. As a county chairman, I've always had the county's back. Today, they have my back. Because what's important, folks, is strong and bold leadership. What's important is that we are going to come forward and we are going to heal this party. I am so proud and I am so honored to work with the governor and, and preparation for what we're going to do in 2016. I am so proud and I'm so honored to, to work with Congressman Pierce throughout the years and what we're going to work for going to 2016. I am proud to bring this party together, folks, but I'm the one that's going to do it because it takes 10 years of coming through them doors and listening to you all and working with you all because, folks, it's you that make a difference and it's you that run this county. And, folks, I need your support. I need your help because I can't afford to sit back and not watch us go into 2016 without delivering results like we did in 2016 and in 2014. I can't afford to sit back and say we are not going to continue to hold the house. And you're right, I can't sit back and say we are not going to support this governor. I cannot sit back and say we are not going to support our congressman. I can't sit back and say, use as an excuse to say, Rick, you're a busy man. Hell, I've been a busy man all my life, folks. And the one thing is I can't is not in my vocabulary, except that I can't sit down and not make a difference. But I need every one of you to stand up and say, I can't either. I cannot afford to let this county, I mean, to let this state just continue to waddle. I can't afford to not help Rick Lopez bring this county together. So let's start saying, I can, I will. I will stand up like our county chairs, stand up and make a difference. With my experience, with my leadership, we are gonna go into 2016 and yes, we are gonna make a difference because we can. I am humbled to stand up here before you. I am ready to hit the ground running. And I say, God bless you all. Please support me, and God bless this great state. Thank you.